I think that you'll find that the ways communities gather says a lot about who they are. It says a lot about where, <clears throat> excuse me, where the energy is, the things that draw people together. This holds true for First Congregational. The small groups that I'm about to introduce you to are formed around social justice, around personal and spiritual growth. We're going to start with an adult education series that begins next Sunday after worship. Here are our student pastors, Lucas and Kirsten, and the next, a video from Brian Goolsby, sharing an invitation to a group that is formed around our church's affirmation that black lives matter. Hi, we're your student pastors for the coming year. Hi, I'm Lucas. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. And I'm Kirsten. My pronouns are she, her, hers. 2020 has brought numerous justice issues to the forefront of our collective consciousness. As one form of response to white supremacy, so present in our society, our congregation has weekly racist anonymous meetings, and now we're gonna go one step further. Join Lucas and I for a six week discussion group called Outrageous Justice that will focus on prison reform and transformation from a theological perspective. Don't worry if you can't make it every week, come when you can. Outrageous Justice starts after church on September 20th, and we hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm here to invite you to Racist Anonymous. It is Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central. It's based on a 12-step program, and it is designed to eliminate racism within ourselves. We would love to have you there. If you'd like to join, call the church office or check in the is comments. Brian's Thanks. The see you then. Earlier in worship, we heard from Stacy Roberts about ministries for children. We also have a strong youth program that's led by Heather Goolsby and a group for parents. So we'll see a video about that. And then next, Betsy Barbary invites everyone to a weekly time to informally get to know folks. Good morning. Hi, I'm Heather Goolsby, and I am the Director of Youth and Family Ministry here at FCC. And I'd like to tell you a bit about two of my groups. Um, the first group is youth. Sixth through 12th grade students um, are in our youth here at FCC, and we meet on Sunday mornings during the education hour at 11 a.m. We utilize this time to learn more about our faith, um, each other, and the world around us. It's a really great opportunity to um, grow and mature spiritually, as well as learn to be present, connected, and supportive of our peers. Outside of our education time, we have many opportunities to serve not only our church, but our community as well. We also have time to get together and have fun. This year is going to look a little bit different as we're all navigating an ever-changing terrain, but we have a great group of kids and families here, and I know that we'll make the best of our time together. So we love new faces. If you'd like to join us, please just reach out and contact me anytime through the church office. The second group I would like to talk to you about today is our FCC parent community. This is a community for parents with adventure age Adventure Village age children or youth age children. Um, we are on Facebook together. It's a place that we can connect and support, laugh, vent, all the things that we need to do as parents during this time. Um, and we're starting our happy hours this month. So reach out and see what's going on. I hope to see you there. Bye. Hi, it's Betsy Barbary. I hope you join us on Sunday mornings at 930. We have a Zoom coffee chat before church, and it's great to visit with other church members. We've also gotten previews of the work going on at church. And we even got to meet little George Manking, uh, Chris and Aaron's little baby. Please join us Sunday mornings. We have a lot of fun. Bye. These next two small groups are for adults who want to learn and grow together. Heart to Heart, a group for women, and the FCC Book Club. 
Here are Rhonda and Peter to share more. Hi, First Congregational ladies, it's Rhonda here. Um, I've got a question for you. How is your heart feeling these days? If yours is anything like mine, you're feeling pretty battered. Um, I miss church. I miss my friends. I miss things just being normal. And so one of the ways that I feel like I have a little bit of normalcy every week is I meet with the Heart to Heart ladies at 10 o'clock on Wednesday mornings uh, through Zoom. Uh, we get together and just get a chance to be friends and see people that we know and make new friends. Um, if this sounds interesting and if you're available, please let us know and we'll send you the Zoom link and we would love to have you. Okay, I look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. If you'd like to read, we'd be delighted to have you come join our First Congregational Church Book Club. My name is Peter Nichols. I'm the convener for the group. We are meeting monthly on Zoom. We'd be delighted to have you share your thoughts, your ideas for reading, and your conversation. Thank you. And our final two groups that we'll feature today draw from Buddhist practice. Yes, we're a church, and we recognize, celebrate, and affirm the gifts and helpfulness that come to us from other traditions. First, Lisa November, Cultivating Mindfulness, followed by Kevin Woodhouse. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm one of the facilitators of the Cultivating Mindfulness Meditation Group. We meet on Saturday mornings on Facebook Live at 10 a.m and have Dharma discussion at 10.30 on Zoom. If you're curious about meditation and have always wanted to try it, or if you're an experienced meditator, I hope you'll join us someday. Thank you. Howdy y'all, I'm Kevin, Recovery Dharma Fort Worth Group Representative. Recovery Dharma is a peer-led movement and community that is unified by our trust in the potential of each of us to recover and find freedom from the suffering of addiction. We believe that recovery means empowerment, and we support each other as partners walking the path of recovery together. Our program uses the Buddhist practices and principles of meditation, inquiry, wisdom, compassion, and community as tools for recovery and healing. Recovery Dharma welcomes anyone who is looking to heal from addiction and addictive behavior, whether it's caused by substance use or process addictions like codependency, gambling, eating disorders, relationships, technologies, or any obsessive or habitual pattern that creates suffering. Currently, we are meeting at a member's house. You can find us at Facebook at Recovery Dharma Fort Worth. You can private message us there and we'll get you on our Slack account, which is our primary communication tool, and give you the location of the meetings. Hope to see you soon. Meta, y'all. The psalmist says how good and pleasant it is when we dwell together in unity. So I hope that you will take the opportunity to connect with one of these small groups, to find a group of people to share life with, to learn and grow together, to deepen your awareness of the richer aspect of life. Just because we're in a shutdown, in a pandemic, doesn't mean that we can't connect with others and it makes our lives better to do so. So I hope that you find a way to do that. Over the coming week, there is so much that will require our attention to be involved with. Um, we certainly will be in prayer for people we know are hurting the Western United States with all the forest fires, for the continued uh, racial awareness moment in our country, for the election. Pray that you walk with centeredness and hope through all of these realities. In the name of our God, who is our creator and our redeemer and our sustainer, go blessed, friends. Amen.